also known as Noble Strength and welcome back to my channel and happy MLK Day. I hope all of you are having a wonderful day and it's a great day to be alive. I'm so thankful that we're living in this day and time and not, you know, in times past and I'm so appreciative of all of what, you know, those before us did so that we could live the way we are living now. I know we have, a, you know, a lot of things in this world that are not right. A lot of things that we could dwell on that are still imperfect but we really can't count our blessings so happy MLK and I'm so grateful to what that leader Martin Luther King did for you know the social aspect of our country so having said all of that I do have a wonderful haul for you today guys and I thought it'd be really appropriate on MLK day to rock this nice gift that my husband got for me he surprised me he um he said, I saw this online and I thought this would look really nice on you and it's kind of artsy, it kind of fits your personality and so it's these crochet um, earrings with the hat and this is a clip-on flower that you can remove. I thought it was really cute. So that's why I'm rocking this today. But anyway, I did go thrifting yesterday, guys, and I came across some really great deals and I can't wait to share them with you. So let me just jump right into it. I got some shoes and yeah I got some shoes and I got some purses too you know me I love shoes I love purses so when I saw these cute shoes I just had to get them so let me just quit talking I got these BC BG generation shoes now these are some heels guys yeah that's like a five inch heel it might even be at a five and a half or a six inch i'm not sure but it does have a hidden platform which makes them easier to walk in and this is just a really cute shoe it's this camel leather with these cutouts this eyelet cutouts with the fuchsia behind it i just thought that was so cute it's kind of a pointy toe so i thought this would just be a good fun shoe to rock on you know those days where you're feeling kind of fun and you know flirty or whatever so I got those these were $5.99 at Goodwill next I got a pair of shoes the extreme polar opposite of the other shoes these are some flats I love it because of the contrasting detail uh, when you have the fabric in the front and the faux leather in the back with the contrasting black and brown which I think really looks great together awesome it gives it that um, ability where you can wear it with so many different things that's what I like about it and of course you can't go wrong with a flat these are make a great work shoe and this Dorsey style shoe was very flattering on my foot and I think most feet so really nice shoe and I got this one for $5.99 as well now I did get some purses as I said before and these are some really great gems and I splurged a little bit and spent way more than I normally would on purses at the thrift store. Normally I spend about $350 or $360 a bag or upwards, you know, $15 is usually the most that I will spend on a bag at a thrift store, but I went a little bit over these because they're collectibles and not only that, I would had one of these bags by this designer before and I sold it and I kind of regretted it. So when I saw these two bags, I had to get them. Jane Yu is the um, artist or designer of this bag and she hand paints the leather bags. Just really, really cool designs on them. Very uh, geometric style designs and these are vintage bags. So this might be probably from the 90s or 80s. I'm not sure. Well, actually it says 2000. So she did date it. So she always signs and dates her bag. So this is from the 2000 and I like it because this envelope style bag has a little insert slip pocket there which is really cool and you have the opening on the inside which is nice and roomy a zip compartment and all of her bags are stamped with a leather stamping here on the inside that says Jane Yu wearable art and here's another opening here and then you just have the snap closure. So this envelope style bag can be uh, worn as a clutch. So you can just, you know, pull this in, the straps in like this, like so, and then just close it up. 
and then you have a you know nice little clutch bag so I thought that was really adorable and cute and it has the zipper pocket on the outside and when I looked at the zipper pocket on the outside I noticed there was a the original card on the inside so this style is called the Maya and it's hand painted on genuine leather so really cool so I got that next I got another one now there were three of them there and I said I better not be uh, gluttonous when it comes to buying these bags because I was so tempted to buy all three but I was like that's being very greedy I got two and I had to ask the lady at the um, the cashier for her help because I couldn't decide so I ended up going with this um, cute little crossbody that has the kiss closure and the reason why I got this one is because if you look at it really closely there's a lot of nice detailing on this bag it's a little bit more intricate a little bit more um, I don't know what do you call it ornate is what I'm trying to say and it reminded me of Marc Chagall's painting now I love Marc Chagall he's a great artist um, he's a Jewish artist I believe who lived um, in France for some time but I just really love his pieces and so here's that purse and it has just like a little town someone uh, in a cart being pulled by a pig and then this bride it looks like a bride and a tree with a bird in it very pretty so I got that it's very very tiny so there's not a lot of space but it does have a little zip compartment and once again it has that little stamping on the leather and this one is signed and dated and this is also in 2000 so really great deal on these um, I got this for $25 and the other one for 35 so like I said I did splurge but if you go online and look up Jang Yu a lot of her vintage bags are sold online for 60 to upwards a hundred dollars so it is worth the investment if you're a collector of purses like I am so now let's get into the clothing haul don't go anywhere I will be right back guys stay tuned I almost forgot guys that wasn't the end of the non clothing items I also thrifted this wonderful red piece of luggage this is an Amelia Earhart piece of luggage and it still has the person's name on it I tried to get it off with Goo Gone but it didn't work so if you have any suggestions let me know I scrubbed it I also use a mr. magic erase and it did not work either so any suggestions I'd be happy if you comment below but anyway I thought this would be a good piece of storage for my National Geographic books so that's what I am using it for and I just thought it would be uh, just a cool vintage piece to have over here in the corner on top of the trunk. So that is my other thrifted item. And I only paid $2.50 for it. And it is in excellent condition. So if I wanted to use it, I could. I just would need to find some type of keys for the lock. But that's a pretty standard lock. I think I probably could go to a locksmith or a key person and find something. But anyway, I thought that was cool for $2.50. And it's red. You know I love red. Okay, so let's jump right into the clothing items that I got. I thrifted these items from Goodwill and like I said the skirts were half off which was a fabulous deal $2.50 for the skirts everything else I think was like um, under $6 so let's get started this first top that I got is this beautiful kind of like mauve color top I love this color I found another color that I can introduce that looks I think fairly good on my skin tone so I really like these it's a nice top that I can rock casually with some jeans or leggings so nothing special about it except the color and the flowiness of it and rolled up sleeves so I got that next I got this loft um, this Ann Taylor Loft sweater cardigan but what I really loved about this particular cardigan are the buttons on it I just really like attention to details just cute little jewel like uh, buttons all the way down and I wanted to I had a vision in mind of wearing like a crisp white top under it with a black skirt kind of that uh, pilgrim chic look is what I'm going for this is something I made up but so I got that Next, I got a pair of mom jeans. I haven't purchased a 
pair of mom jeans, I don't know. I, I've never purchased a pair. I mean, I wore these back in the 80s, but now I have, I have a black pair. I've been wanting a black pair of jeans, but I didn't want any that were faded. So I got this awesome pair of Jones jeans, and the coloring in them is so rich and dark. So I can't wait to rock these. They're high waist high waisted so they should be really flattering uh, covering up that midsection that I've just let go uh, over the holidays with all the eating and everything so I've got to get back with it guys I have not been working out I'm just giving the gym my money they're just taking my money every month because I'm not going in or I should say I'm just giving them my money every month and I need to do better I mean I really do so here's the next thing that I got I got this uh, Lauren by Ralph Lauren top. It has the just made in shirt detailing on it. Just cute little top. And this is in navy. I don't have a lot of navy tops and I wanted one to wear with my navy pants that I bought. So that is why I got it. So I'll be rocking that. Now the deals that I'm really excited about as far as clothing are the skirts. Now if you've watched my thrifting videos before you know how much I love skirts. So the first one that I got was this really really nice skirt I love look at that detailing on this I've got to zoom in and give you a close-up here so with this you have the frayed edging where it's kind of just embroidered in look at that how intricately I just love that it's stitched on top of the skirt and then at the bottom you have these little beads and sequins just going around the edge so it kind of has that um gypsy chic bohemian chic feel to it but i just love the fullness of that skirt fabulous 250 cannot beat that next i got another full skirt circle kind of skirt with this beautiful uh turquoise and brown detailing on it let me give you a closer look it has some really nice gold uh detailing in the patterns just a nice layering so you can wear that with so much can't wait to style this and turquoise and brown are really great combination and last but not least i got yet another pencil skirt but the take on this one is that it has the peplum on the hips of the skirt and in the back and it has this exposed zipper so it gives it a nice different look so i can't wait to rock that you've got the split in the bag for walking room love it and like i said all the skirts were 250. so let me go ahead and just style these for you because you know i like to do that so stay tuned i'll be right back guys appreciate everybody taking the time to click on my video and watch my hauls you know I love sharing these hauls with you I enjoy fashion so much and just the fact that we have this thrifting community on YouTube really is awesome I mean because I'm not much of a TV person since we don't have television I don't watch TV so you know YouTube is my source of entertainment when I do want to be entertained uh, outside of you know the typical uh, 
uh, art and sewing or whatever it may be so thank you guys so much I appreciate your support and I look forward to seeing you again really really soon I got some more videos lined up a closet essential video which I have not done in forever so I have one of those coming up and I have some other ideas too so I'll be sharing those with you so continue to tune in click like subscribe hit that notification button if you enjoy videos like these and I will see you next time bye I really like so the first one I got